Fellas, AC here. Welcome to another video. Now, let me first start by saying I'm a little bit under the weather. I've got a stiff neck and a little bit of cold. And if I look a little bit run down and sound a bit different, then it's just because of that. And I've got a really bad neck. Now, I was lying on the sofa and I've been doing that all day, watching a movie and stuff like that. And I got bored. You know, when you're ill, or when you're under the weather, you want to go out and do stuff, but you can't. So I thought, okay, let me do a review. So I'll try the best I can. It's one of those fragrances which I've worn almost all of last week to work. And it's one of the most amazing work scents. And in fact, it's more than that. But I enjoy wearing it. It's a beautiful atomizer. It's a Dior. So what else do you expect? It's absolutely fantastic fragrance. And I thought that would lift my mood a little bit because I was feeling miserable. <laughs> so anyways, let's start. Diorum O. O in French means water. Diorum, the beautiful Diorum. And this is just a deviation to it. It's a lovely, and you won't believe this. I don't own the original Diorum because I've got the two flankers which I really enjoy. Uh, Intense and Bafam. I love Diorum Bafam. But this one is absolutely brilliant you know this was created by Jacques Polge and it was released in 2014 and this is one of those fragrances which doesn't take a lot of effort to wear and enjoy and those are the fragrances I really like to wear to work because excuse me I don't want to come across as trying too hard when I'm at work because I have a certain type of image at work and if you are like me at work this is the fragrance which will appeal to you a lot. I don't want to try too hard. I don't care about compliments at work. I want to smell professional, sophisticated and elegant. This fragrance is all three. Now, how does it start? You see, this has this Dioron DNA. Yeah, there's an iris and a woody powdery facet. So that lipsticky vibe is undertone, underplayed here, but it's there. You, the moment you spray it, you'll know you're smelling a Dioron type fragrance. But what they've done very clearly is they've created this amazing duality of this fragrance. They've included with Iris, which is a floral, and Lipsiki. They've included this beautiful grapefruit, synthetic grapefruit, which, see my neck is absolutely <laughs> killing me, the, which you will smell in Bleu de Chanel. Um, uh, EDT. This is the, oh my god, uh, this is the original, I'll try not to move too much. This is the original EDT. This has this grapefruit, the synthetic grapefruit. It's not that metallic in uh, Diorum O. So it's a very clever idea. Take Blue de Chanel's grapefruit, combine it uh, with Diorum DNA and create a mass appealing fragrance. But they've ended up doing more than that. This is more than, this fragrance is more than the mass appealing fragrance that uh, Bleu de Chanel is. It's a very classy scent. So in the middle, they have these woody herbal notes. Now they've got this beautiful note of coriander and I love coriander, but this is not the dry spicy coriander. It's more like cilantro. It's got this greenness about it. It's a very tender green, if you like, if you see what I mean, very tender herbal note. It comes in after about half an hour. And that cilantro type smell is combined with a artificial cedar note like note. I think it's cedar, I can't remember, but there's a woody note, which is which smells like cedar wood without the pencil shaving side. So it's a very nice woody, powdery, very attractive lipsticky, slightly underplayed, and a very nice grapefruit, which becomes fruitier. Hmm? More than citrusy, it's more fruity. And even the late dry down, they've got this resinous quality. So from airy, transparent, dry, woody scent, it gets the slight resinous quality, which I really enjoyed. The kind of resinous quality you would see in an amber-like fragrance, slight warmth to it, very attractive. And all the elements are there. The lipsticky vibe is there, the cilantro is there, the slight woody aromatic side of the cedar is there. I believe it's cedar. I can't remember exactly. What a beautifully made fragrance. And the best thing is after about first 15-20 minutes, you get this surprising aquatic 
vibe, which you will find in Chanel, Allium Sport or Extreme. That aquatic smell is there and it stays for about two hours and it then fades away. It's a scent which has many facets, as I explained, and it's beautifully made. It's really, really beautiful. So the pros and cons. Number one pro, it's a very elegant, beautifully made fragrance with various developments which you will smell and it's a joy to wear yeah so number one is it's a fun scent it's really lovely number two upside it's got this classy understated elegance about it it's a very elegantly made fragrance it's what i call a modern modern masculine now there are a couple i've reviewed one my neck is killing me this prada uh, long, intense. The other one is this one here. This is a modern masculine, a beautiful modern masculine. I've reviewed this one as well. Acqua di Parma, Colonia, Quercia. So I find this fragrance to slot into that. They don't. It doesn't smell like these. In fact, it actually smells like Prada Lom Le, um, and and Prada Lom. In fact, people compare this to Prada Lom. I find it a little bit more interesting. Than Prada Long. I like Prada Long. This one is slightly more interesting, but it's in the same category of a modern masculine. Slightly understated, doesn't scream, very elegantly made, and obviously very aromatic and beautiful, but it's not loud. So that's the second upside, if you like. The third upside is the fragrance can fit in to an occasion. It doesn't wear you, you wear the fragrance, very wearable fragrance. So imagine yourself going to a first interview. And you're thinking, what should I wear that doesn't scream out and it's very elegant and it's not very common because this doesn't get a lot of talk. So it fits into the occasion. Imagine a first date, a beautiful first date, because it's got this clean soapy vibe as well, which can be an amazing asset if you're going to a date in summertime evening. Imagine wearing a beautiful light cotton shirt and just going to your first date wearing this. I mean, this will, you will score. So this is it's got that thing you know you can fit it into an occasion interviews first dates normal office wear it is brilliant now the downsides the biggest downside of this fragrance is its performance it lasts about five to six hours longevity and it doesn't project a lot this is a quiet scent but all elegant classy fragrances are meant to be like that people have to be close to you to be able to smell you in fact the longer it lasts on the skin the better it smells. But yeah, the projection is low to medium. Longevity is medium. And I would say some days when it's not too hot, it even has lasted on my skin for more than seven hours. So it depends on the weather condition, but I see this as a summer scent. So that's the biggest downside. Now value for money. This is a tremendous value for money for me. I like these sort of fragrances. They're very rare and doesn't smell like tons of other fragrances in spite of being a synthetic scent it doesn't smell synthetic it's very creative very well made high quality stuff so i'll put an amazon link i found on amazon uh, 50 ml can cost you what 50 pounds so it's a pretty decent price you can get it for lower as well if you look on ebay but you know the old fragrances are copied a lot at least with amazon you can refund you can return whatever so i'll put the link there so value for money for me is pretty decent value for money I wouldn't complain about the value for money. Season, it works in a warmer weather. So I would say spring, warmer days of autumn and summer. It lasts less in summer. At the moment, we're getting pretty decent temperatures and it lasts about five hours. But I've worn this in spring. It's fantastic. And it's just fantastic. Age groups, any age group. You know, as long as you're dressed for the occasion, first date, imagine a 25-year-old guy going for his first date, dressed in a nice cotton shirt, crisp, and you know sunglasses jeans nice shoes this will really lift you if you're an eight it'll make you a ten i promise you it's beautifully made the occasion should be that you want to really impress people without trying without appearing to try too hard very elegant so marks out of ten overall this is a scent which has got performance issues as i explained it's not the most hugely performance scent sometimes that disappoints you but apart from that in every other occasion, every other aspect, this scent has excelled. So I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. I even wore this in winter and I loved it. So eight out of 10 
Hope you enjoy the review, fellas. Take care. Bye-bye.